So a while back I saw that somebody wanted to know how to do the um, cable adjustment on a on the Honda City. Um, how to adjust the cable of the hydraulic, uh, not hydraulic, bloody cable operator clutch. So I'm just going to make a quick video just to show you um, what what needs to be done in order to to adjust that. Open the hood, obviously. There's, um, so, if you can see it, the cable goes down there over here, and that's this is a it's a small adjustment uh, wheel, I guess you could call it. The way that it's adjusted is you pull the cable. And then you turn this. So at the moment, I think I've got too much adjustment on it. So it's it's very much about a feel that you get. You got to pull it until it's tense, and then you back it off a bit. Check it. You've really got to get a feel for it. Um, you, you, when you pull the cable itself like that, you're checking for how much play is between the the lock um, wheel and this over here. This connects to the uh, cl the clutch fork, which goes inside there goes inside the gearbox and connects to the um, pressure plate that's where the clutch fork um, connects to and what you're adjusting with this wheel with this wheel over here is how much how loose it is so if I back this right off and then let it go you can see there's quite a bit of play in there between the wheel and this bracket. So you pull it with what with some with your hand and then you turn the wheel. You don't want too much play in there. You still play. And then once you think it's alright, once you think that it's at the correct setting. You go back into the car and then you just press the clutch pedal in maybe two, three, maybe five times. You can go back and check it again. Check for any play. Yep, there's some more. Pull it, pull the cable up, turn the wheel downwards. Can do some more. then go back and pump the pedal again because what happens over time is that the the um the cable stretches just naturally from being used right so what you're doing is you're taking the um the tents because it's stretched you're taking up the slack that it's caused so that seems just about right right there not it's not that loose but it's still not constantly holding the clutch fork engaged which is what you're trying to avoid you don't want the clutch fork to be engaged all the time because what can what can happen with that is that your um if you've got constant pressure on the on the, the clutch plate and on the, the forks then you're gonna you, your clutch is going to be constantly riding which means it's not fully disengaged and it's not engaged it's like right in the middle so it's going to be constantly frictioning on the friction plate which will cause it to wear out very fast 
So you want to make sure that you're at you're right at the bottom, and there's just a little bit of uh, leeway in between. So when you pull it, it's not like really loose, but there's a small gap. That's the best way I can describe it. But um, if, if there's anything you didn't understand, or if you want to know anything more, just let me know, um, and I'm happy to answer any questions. Um, and here. Any other things you'd like me to talk about, about Honda Cities or anything like that, or what I've done to this one, yeah, just let me know. But yeah, thanks for watching and um, yeah, see ya.